Hi, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 ISA Sign Expo. My name is Timothy Mitchell. I'm here at the Epson booth, and I'm here with Eric Holm. Eric, hi, how are you? Good. How, how about yourself? Fantastic. Eric has a new product from Epson. It's pretty cool. I want you to know about it because I'm very interested in it. It is a spectrophotometer. Yep, the Epson SD10, the first Epson built spectrophotometer. Epson built spectrophotometer. Yep. Okay, so I've used x rites I've used spiders, I've used barbieries, I've used uh, uh, Konica's. What is unique about this? Uh, what does it do? How does it work? And how does it integrate with other things? Gotcha. So uh, it's unique in that we have a built-in screen and it's battery powered. So this is a device that you can take anywhere as a sales tool to capture customer colors or uh, as a kind of a QC tool, I'm in the shop, I have a customer standard, I want to compare it to uh, the print that I just made, am I on target, do I need to do more work? This is a tool that's going to give you some uh, uh, ability to do that. Okay, so how about this? Uh, if I were to take, say, Onyx, and I would uh, take a color, customer gives me a color, and it just comes in on a file. It doesn't even have a Pantone attached. You know, it might be an RGB value, it might be a lab value. And the customer prints it with Onyx and does all the swatches. What I need to know is which swatch is closer to the actual target that you want to hit. And the customer might not even have the file might be wrong. You know, like they, they might have a, a green, for example, that they want to hit. The file isn't actually that green. And then they're trying to print to match that green, but they need to get an original and then an iteration to know what's the delta E distance. Will this compare distances? Yeah, um, actually on the screen, it's gonna always compare the last two measured colors. So you can take the standard, uh, that in that case, uh, compare it to what you've just made. Uh, if you don't like that, you can at least input the numbers into, say, Honest's uh, spot color replacement tool and start working on getting a more accurate uh, output. Ah, oh, fantastic. So it's a tool that allows you to do, uh, define what a color is. Yeah. Uh, does it define in any space that you tell it, or is it lab primarily or RGB? With the uh, included app uh, free for download, it, it'll process the lab values through RGB or CMYK. You can set a default profile, or as you're looking at a color, you can swap out the profile, and it'll even tell you if it's in gamut or not. Ah, fantastic. So this would help a lot to determine from a target whether what I've printed is close or far away from the target. Because my eye doesn't Correct. always know. Right. I look at all those swatches and go, I don't know which one's closest. That's right. It's all subjective. When we're looking at color, this takes the subjectivity out. Now you have an objective analysis of what you're doing. Okay, fantastic. And so can you give me, is there a general cost? I mean, is there a price associated with it, like an MSRP? Yeah, uh, it's $899. It's available now. So it's $899. Epson makes it. Yep. Has all kinds of great features on it. Epson Legendary Technology, right. and it's available now, and what else? That's about it, I think. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Eric, I just wanted to stop by and look at it, because you guys were using it earlier, and I was seeing everything on here, and I thought, wow, I didn't know Epson had a spectrophotometer. That's new. Yeah, you know, I do want to say one more thing. Uh, it does connect to our Epson Cloud Solution port software. Ah, so nice. a new feature is that we can take the libraries that we build on the app and upload it to port. So everyone in your port organization, every user, can see those colors and do something with them if they need to bring them into their workflow ah. or just uh, cool. have them as an archive. All right, so this would work, you know, across the board then for all their, you know, if you have a bunch of Epson devices, S series, F series, flatbeds, resin, yep. you can integrate everything with this with the Epson software. Correct. Now you were attaching your, your Epson printer before it's a port and now you attach this. It's one ecosystem to improve your workflow. Fantastic. Eric? Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank pleasure. you for Thank letting you. me know about this cool new product. Absolutely. And very good price point as well. Yeah. Come by the Epson booth, talk to Eric, see the Spectro, the new Epson Spectro, and uh, Timothy Mitchell signing off for LexJet.